Hi everyone, so I'm back with an alarm video today for a change. Um, I've got some more videos coming soon on the EMS Firepoint 5004, so stay tuned for them if you want to see them. Um, but today's video is something a bit different, it's actually a video on my neighbour's house alarm. Because um, you see loads of my house, so I thought, well why not film somebody else's, <laughs> for a change, somebody else's system. So... She's got a Logic 6, which obviously you can see here. Um, the thing about these panels are they are dead nice for the elderly because they're so simple to use. But um, unfortunately, ADE have now... Well, it's not really ADE anymore, is it? Honeywell, who own ADE, have pulled out of the alarm market now. So once all the leftover stock goes, it is gone. And that's that, basically, which is a damn shame. Um, so panels like this, the Logic 6, the Optima Compact, um, the Ascenta, they're all gone now. So anything you can still buy is leftover stock. Um, but yeah, let's get on with it basically anyway. You mean, I mean, this, this system, I've fitted this panel because she's had several panels since she moved in. And they've just been upgraded as the times have moved on basically. So originally... Um, and I only know this through seeing old photos, there used to be an ADE security systems control panel here, which was a key operated one with a shunt lock on the front door. So you'd set the system and then the exit tone would continue forever until you actually locked the front door and that would shut up the exit tone basically and that was like the final set. Um, that was ripped out, not by me, by somebody else, and a Logic 4 Plus 4 was fitted. Um, I've just realised, actually, all the panels that have been here are ADE panels. So the Logic 4 Plus 4 was here, and that was great. Um, I knew the lady when that was being used. Um, it was a really nice panel. Obviously, it would be called Old Fashioned now, but, you know, it was... Was it eight zones? Or I think it was six zones, and four of them were... What would you say? Um, omittable. Omittable, yeah, that's <laughs> not emittable. Four were omittable. Um, and you could choose which four because they had little switches at the side. I'm sure you'll find a picture of that panel if you Google it. Anyway, it was really advanced panel for its time. And then that came out when something blew on the circuit board. I took that out. And because um, the fault with that was it just stopped one day. It just stopped working. It started going off the backup battery for some reason. And something, I think it was, it wasn't the rectifier. Something on the panel had blown anyway, which came from the transformer. So it wasn't, it wasn't working off mains anymore. So it just kept draining batteries. It was a shame, but you know, it'd been in for 30 odd years. So I put an Optima Plus in then just because I had one and it was a nice simple panel and it was still working fine. So she had that for ages. Um, unfortunately, this lady's eyes have got a bit worse now, which is why this went in a few years ago, because there's no numbers to remember, and you don't have to have great vision, because obviously there's no buttons or keys to put in holes. It's basically, you know, you get a little fob with it, and you just go like that, and that starts setting it, and that starts unsetting it. <laughs> so couldn't be more simpler really so apart from the panel there hasn't really been any changes to the system oh yeah I added that panic button in there was never a panic button on the system before I'm trying to think what changes have been just the panel obviously and I've swapped it for this well I swapped it for this a few years back and the bell box it was a CQR type C vented polycarbonate and I put a vent croft in um, just to bring it a bit up to date. And you know, looking back, I probably should have just left the CQR in. There was nothing wrong with it, and it even had a little comfort LED that used to flash. So, I'll show you around the system quickly. So basically, the door contacts there, because the built-in ones don't work annoyingly. <laughs> so the surface-mounted contacts, and um, there is also contacts on all the downstairs internal doors. They, these are not connected to the system. I think there's even contact. You might not be able to see it properly, but there is. Yeah, you can, just there. There's even a contact here, because this used to be an external door at one point. 
but those contacts actually predate PIR sensors. Well, they don't predate PIR sensors, but the contacts were put in before PIRs were standard practice. So um, the con there's no contacts on the conservatory door. So what it was before there were PIRs on this system is um, it would just work off the door contacts, basically. So when that was the original panel, the ADE security systems control, um, it was only the panel, the only detectors really we were the contacts that were downstairs. So um, basically the panel would set and if somebody, obviously that was on a delay because it would have a shunt lock, um, but if somebody opened these doors or them doors out there, it would create an instant alarm and that was basically it really. Um, I can't remember what bell box was up here originally. I think it was a D type, but what else? The, the square one. It was a square one anyway. So I'll just show you the Ventcroft that I put up a few years ago anyway. So you can just see the Ventcroft out there. I bolted a strobe on top of it because I like them style of strobes because they can be seen in the day a lot better than a built-in strobe through a lens. Just personal preference, obviously. Um, the only downside to this panel, but again, you know, it's not really a downside from a customer's point of view. I mean, it depends what type of customer. In this case, an elderly lady, it's not really a downside. You can't do any tests. It's not really programmable, this panel, because obviously it's just the fob. That's all. Put the fob there, sets it. Put the fob there, it unsets it. There's nothing else to it. So you can't go, oh, I'll test the strobe. <laughs> but And again, is it really a downside? Because is an elderly lady going to go, oh, I want to test the strobe? I don't think so. So we'll do a quick demonstration of it. Um, I'll just show you around first. So in the kitchen, um, there's a Texacom. I can't remember what they call it now. One of them. Texacom PIRs anyway. I put that in a few years ago because as you can tell the wallpaper doesn't match here because there was a burst pipe, I won't go into it, but anyway all the plaster came down and the old PIR came down with it and smashed. <laughs> so the PIR that used to be there is what is in here. So there was one of these in the kitchen. Now I think that is a Texacom reducer. I know, well actually I know that's what this is. Um, basically, it's, I think it's late 80s, early 90s anyway. With a little LED behind the lens. It's got a pulse count that you can adjust. Got three settings on it. Um, and that's that basically. And so that was there until I fitted that. And then again, this was a Medusa, but it was swapped out by somebody years ago before I had anything to do with this alarm, so it must have gone faulty, I presume, so there's that. But I actually swapped that like for like. That started false alarming a few, when was it? I think it was late last year. So um, you can still buy this style of detector. So I just bought the exact same one and swapped the guts out on the front cover. And then in here, in the conservatory, I don't know if it's called a Texacom Reflex or what. I know all the PIRs are Texacom anyway, but this is a dual tech and it's yellowed because it's in a bright conservatory. Um, it is quite hard to trigger this detector. The lights just come on now. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, there you go. So, um, yeah, that's, you know, that's fine. That never had any problems with that. It was just that one that started false alarm in a while back. So, as I said, I swapped it. Um, the only other detector in the house is upstairs in the back bedroom, but it is disconnected because, again, with this type of panel, <laughs> you can't really omit a zone. So if somebody's staying in this room, it meant you couldn't put the alarm on at night. So this panel, had to, this PIR even had to be disconnected. It's still powered up, so it looks like it works. Um, but basically the zone wires are just twisted together, so it's sort of emitted from the circuit. Shall I have a look inside? Because it won't tamper, because it's disconnected, it's just got power, remember? So yeah, um, there's a little pulse count thing. 
little jumper that you move, various settings on it, a little tamper spring, alarm LED which is lit obviously because I'm messing with it, so you know just a simple PIR, they probably weren't too expensive but they've proved to be reliable. I mean obviously if this one was false alarming we wouldn't know now <laughs> because um, it's disconnected like I said it's just got the power light on well, it's not a power light is it? it's an alarm light but you know what I mean so yeah obviously with the other panels that have been here in the past if somebody was staying in that room of a night you could just omit that sensor but you can't do that with this panel which is why it's had to be disconnected so um, I'll do a quick demonstration now so to set the panel you just hold your fob up I've left all the doors open down here so I don't actually know what sensor will get me first because the kitchen sensor looks into here as well Again, no quick set on this panel, so you just have to wait until it sets. Now I'm trying to move slowly to see, to make sure the kitchen sensor doesn't get me. I think I've got away with that. So we'll set it off via the lounge anyway. So when the light comes on, the alarm will go off. So I'm stood in the doorway now. It's got to be a series of movements to set it off, obviously. It's got to be so many pulses. So I'm moving slowly. There you go. So the panel's got a little internal speaker. And there's the bell box. I don't know if you can see this, you can just see the strobe flashing. So to disarm it, it's just the fob that resets it as well. So obviously it's showing zone two because the lounge is zone two. So that's the zone that caused the alarm. And then again, and then again, and it's reset. <laughs> so it's a nice, simple system really for the elderly and for people that just want a simple alarm to be honest um, for people that don't want any fancy gadgets really it's also sensible I mean I wouldn't have one in my house only because you can't do walk tests and things like that but other than that it's a nice little panel well actually nobody can have one anymore because they're obsolete but <laughs> you know again I don't know with alarms they all seem to be wireless rubbish now so you know, this was one of the very few hardwired, decent panels left. Um, yeah, so that's it really. And that's just a simple panic button there. Again, can be deactivated by the fob. That'll just put the what LED? The PA LED will come on. I'll test the panic button. No. And there you go. And then again, it's just the um, little key for the button which you put in there. And then you've got your PA LED flashing. And there you go. <laughs> so that's it really. Um, there's not much more to it to be honest. There's just a quick video on the ADE Logic 6. I mean, really though, where all the PIR sensors are, okay, so there's one in the conservatory and there's one in the lounge and then um, one in the back room and then the one in the kitchen. So it's all of downstairs. It's covered really because there's door contacts on the front door too. So, you know, whatever room they break into, even if they only get as far as the conservatory, it's going to trigger the alarm. So it's, you know, the house is quite protected, to be honest. 
Um, I'm trying to think of what else I can say about the alarm, to be honest. Probably not much. It's simple and it does the job, which is what an alarm should do. And not so overcomplicated, nobody can understand it really. Yeah, so thanks for watching this video. Um, and I'll see you in the next one. I need to do a video with my own house alarm because I've changed that now as well. That's got a wired system in again, so I'll do a video of that one day. Thanks for watching and take care. Bye for now.